welcome back into the recruiting roundup. That's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. We continue to bring you the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting, and we do so year round. It's the recruiting roundup on sports360az.com. Jason, we took about a month off. We went through some of the biggest news last week that's gone on with 2015 and beyond and that class that's up and coming. That there were some players that we didn't hit on that still need to be spotlighted, though, picking up their first offers, three of which are Pac-12 offers getting their first offers. So let's get into it. The first one, Thunderbirds' Adam Turner. Yeah, very dynamic wide receiver. Had a breakout junior season. Was an all-section kid as a sophomore, but they ended up having over 1,200 yards receiving last year. Got his first offer from the University of Washington. I expect more to come for him later on. And Thunderbirds a school, well, that has produced some Division I players, Pac-12 players over the years, looking back at Dexter Davis, who went to ASU, and Kanai Benoit, who went to Oregon last And both year. are looking to have some pretty solid careers at that, too. Thunderbird always has those little, those little gems that just kind of come out of nowhere, don't They've been they? been a sleeper team and, and you know, won the state championship you know, not, too far, not too long ago. Offensive lineman got picked, picked up an offer from ASU. That's Gilbert Stephen Miller. He's a very raw prospect. One, he's giant. He's six foot five and 290 pounds. The first time I saw him was last spring at ASU's Big Man Challenge, and he had never played football before. Went on last year, ended up making second team all section. Like again, big kids that are athletic. We've talked about it before on past shows. Get recruited. Miller's going to get more offers. And you see Gilbert's a team that has kind of struggled over the past couple seasons. You see some talent improving, though, with that program. They've had Division One players. Probably the most notable is Blake Jackson, who ended up going to Scottsdale Community College. He's a tight end to Oklahoma State right now. Brian Calhoun, he picks up his first Pac-12 offer. Yeah, he was offered by the University of Arizona. He's a player that could end up being a defensive end or a tight end uh, You know, at the next level. I kind of compare him to Trevor Wood, who ended up signing with, with the U of A last year out of Chaparral. But I really like Calhoun. He's six foot six. He's 260 pounds. Big player, was the section's defensive player of the year. An all-state performer. Had like 13 and a half sacks last year. A great defender and really took advantage of the talents of Devin Palomino at quarterback for Deer Valley, who had a nice run as a low seed in the tournament last year. Finally, the last offer to, to bring you that, that's come up, the most recent one at that, Tempe's Cameron Johnson. A kind of a do-it-all player. He's a returner. He's a running back. He's a DB. He was a sections player of the year all around. Rushed for 1,000 yards. Had three picks on defense. Was offered by the University of Montana. I really like Cameron. He's 5'11", 200 pounds, real thick. And Tempe's going to have a dynamic offense you know, next year with Cameron and Emmanuel Gannett quarterback. So those are a few of the 2015 offers. There is, however, some news on the 2014 class front. Two players, very talented guys, had coming off great seasons at Saguaro and at Brophy. They finally announced where they're going to end up playing college at the next level. Yeah, you talk about Brophy quarterback Brian Woodward got a late scholarship offer from the University of South Dakota a FCS program, and he committed to that program and signed with them. Uh, Woodward was a kid that could play safety or quarterback, but quarterback was what he wanted to do, and South Dakota's given him that chance, so he signed with them. Then the second player is a talented wide receiver DB, JT Nettleton, out of Saguaro, was originally committed to South Dakota State, got a late offer from UNLV, and has signed with the Running Rebels. So congrats to, to Woodward and JT Nettleton getting their college destinations, two guys out of the 2014 class. Before we go for this episode of the Roundup, a little bit more news on the 2015 front. Three of the top five players in the 2015 class continue to add offers. Yeah, kids, we talk about a lot. Centennial running back Dedrick Young was offered by Northwestern. Brian Lewerke, the talented quarterback out of Pinnacle, was offered by Michigan State and by Florida. And Cassius Pete, the end of Corona, offered by Boston College. So there's the latest in high school football recruiting. That's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. Continue to stick with us. This is the Recruiting Roundup on Sports360AZ.com.